but I've got two Lamar Jacksons. He's had <laughs> two Lamar Jacksons. Where are you on Lamar right now? You know what I love about this whole Lamar Jackson story? I laugh, to, when I think about it now, I laugh that there were people in the NFL that thought this might be the year that we figure out Lamar Jackson. <laughs> because here's what we're seeing. Maybe this is the year Lamar Jackson is figuring out what defenses are trying to do to him. Because this kid leads the NFL in yards per completion and he's second in rushing average. Lamar Jackson, a guy that at every turn has defied every sort of critic, critique that you can think of. And it's a great story because this organization, you see what happens when an organization goes all in on the QB and build around him and trust him to win games with him. Oh, that's such a great point. Lewis, that is, so, you know, you know it's a great point when you're jealous that you didn't make the point. Lewis, right, like, there are some <laughs> quarterbacks, I don't hear that about every quarterback, the league is finally, when they're in, like, year four, year five, right? Like, why is everyone, the league is finally, fit? no, he's figured out the league, maybe, that's scary. Lewis, how impressed were you by Lamar? You called the game Monday. Yeah, look, I mean, you're obviously very, very, very impressed, but you're not surprised simply because when you sit down and talk to him, Max, about what it took for him to get to this point, you understand why the evolution has taken place the way it has. This started last year after they got knocked out of the playoffs in Buffalo. He sat down with John Harbaugh. They came up with a list together. Quite honestly, they had their own separate list, and then they got together and talked about, what do I need to do individually to get better? Then it was about Greg Roman and John Harbaugh saying, what do we need to do to take this scheme to the next level? And then it was about Lamar marrying what he did in the offseason with what Greg Roman was doing with the scheme, the new players that they were bringing in, and how's it going to manifest on the football field. Now you're seeing the results of all of that work. And they're not even at full strength. Mm -hmm. That's the scary thing. They're not at full strength yet. They still have players that are going to come back and help, you know, this offense go to another level. Namely, a guy like Rashad Bateman, who's going to yeah. probably make his debut this week, I would assume, against the Chargers. And this right now, for them, they're not surprised. Because this was all part of the process, the building process. The build it's just that there were certain people who were sitting there waiting for him to stumble. Certain people who thought he'll never reach these heights because we just don't know if he has that in him to be that kind of passer. Well, he's yeah. summing it all down their throat right now. And he said himself, I'm still just getting started. I'm just getting started right now, and that's a scary proposition. I said to them when we talked to them, it seems to me like you guys have the potential to do exactly what Dallas is doing, which is we have an answer for everything you try to do. You want to stop the run, we'll throw it. You want to stop the pass, we'll run it. You have no choices with us. We have a bunch of choices for you, and that is scary to a lot of people who never thought that they would reach this, this juncture in terms of his development. But for the rest of us, we get to sit and watch it, and it's beautiful to watch. I was going to say, like, back in Warren Moon's day, they would have told him, go be a wide receiver, except they did tell him, go be a wide receiver. Mm. Not in Warren's <laughs> yeah, Moon, Warren exactly. Moon's day. What, like, five minutes ago, they told him to be a wide receiver. Meantime, he played Patrick yep. Mahomes. Josh Allen outplayed Patrick Mahomes. You could argue Justin Herbert. But Lamar Jackson had more, did you see that mm -hmm. moments throwing the ball than Mahomes in a win? That's the first time I've seen that happen. And Lamar leads the Ravens versus the fantastic Justin Herbert and the Chargers in the best matchup of week six.